Hello everybody, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Uh, uh. I have quite a few souls. I can talk to you see if you restocked yet. No? I don't know no if it's interest. tied to progression or tied to your soul count, but regardless. Is that a sh to see how it Right, I did get missed a shirt. I don't think I have enough. Yeah, I don't have enough for the level up. Yeah, I think I'm fine without any levels now. Uh, can I upgrade the other one? It should only take two Titanite chunks. No, it takes three. Oh. Right, because it takes three to get it to plus nine, and then it takes the slab to get it to plus ten. Yeah, I need you to start selling Titanite chunks. Visit me. How many souls do I need to spend on her to get her to start selling Titanite chunks? Okay, so we've been through Drin Lake for the most part. Just need to. Eventually, she'll start selling stones. The, like, infusion stones as well as titanite chunks. And a slab, but I don't need those, because I already have one. Right, these guys. Ah, oh, yes, here we are. Back on the golden path. Right, it's a ladder. Ow. That hurt, you know. Oh, that's not good. Um, yeah, I remember you guys. You're from the Lost Bastille. Ow. I'd prefer it if you didn't knock me off. Oof. You know, it seems like it would be really annoying to fight these guys. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of real annoying to fight these guys. Of course, is that I don't think they can actually be poisoned. How dare you? Really? Oh, come on. Also, I don't actually think it's mandatory to kill these guys. But I think it's a matter of pride at this point. Come on, then. He actually has an attack before you can even lock on to him. Just gonna pop one of these. That might have been a bad idea. Oh, 
they have a tail swipe? Oh, they also have fire breath. Okay. Okay, there we go. And he didn't drop a thing. Okay. That was pointless. But I do know where I need to go now. I think. Because now that the elevator's working, this path was completely optional, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, at least it's a shortcut. Wait, I can still summon this guy? Oh, oh crap. I was not expecting them to do that. Well, okay then. Seeing as my armor isn't cutting it right now, I'm just gonna swap back to... Falconer, Sorceress, uh, Dragonlaic. Okay, I want my stuff back though, so I'm gonna go back through this way. I also still went the wrong direction, but... Yes, it's very nice of you. That's enough of that. Got the gloves and a little dust herb. It's a common drop from the desert sorceresses. Sorceresses. Yeah, whatever. Regardless, I want my stuff back. So I'm gonna ignore these guys now. Oddly enough, the enemies in this area drop a just a ton of souls. Same to be said about a lot of the enemies in every area, but I wouldn't quite say that that's true. But it's mainly here where enemies just drop a ton of souls. Like, that was just from, like, two desert sorceresses, right? Well, actually, no. It was from killing them a few times. Uh, so, now that that's done, I think we can head back to... Where would I need to head back to? Yeah, whatever. I'm going to go back to Majula real quick. Stocked. All right, I'll just buy more Titanite. Then. I wonder if I can have a more conversations with her. Oh, oh. We can all do with a little. These stones make some of some of none. Right, you have to actually talk to them. No yeah, I'm going to talk to this guy too. How goes your Take these. Hey, another blacksmith, Salmon. My witless took just as oblivious as she's always been. Well, at least not stones. You might be simple. Huh. Hmm. Now I've got some twinkling titanite and two blacksmith hammers. I actually don't know how good these weapons are. Oh wait, no, it's the Craftsman's and the Blacksmith's. Craftsman's, I think, deals more damage. I can't tell though. Yeah. But a good 20 damage or so. Oh, well, I'm gonna reload the area. 
see if she's restocked now. No nope. I probably need to go through a loading screen or something. Oh well, regardless. Uh, I think I can just head back to here. And go to the elevator. Over this way. Yeah. Now it's time for the longest elevator ride ever. I'm still in human. Not human? Uh, whatever. I'm not gonna use one just yet. I might die again. Yeah, this is probably one of the longest elevators in the entire game. Heck, in the entire Soul series. And I've even played Demon's Souls. I'm just gonna send the elevator back down so I don't have to wait for it. Oh, okay. No rolling through this door. Right, right. It's this thing. Which is still very creepy. Just gonna give this metal chest a good smack. Soul vessel and a fire seed. This one a good smack. Strong ma magic shield. This third one. Key to the king's passage. That's important. You know, I probably shouldn't have sent that elevator back down. Actually, you know what? Just to speed things up, I'm going to use a homeward bone. I really don't feel like... like I, you know what? I only have like 400 souls, so I'm just going to use the dark sign instead. You know, it's a really good way of saving on souls. Still going up. Wow. Right, right. Boss fight is right over there, so. I'm just going to go back over you here using humanity so I can get the summon. Summons and poison in Dark Souls 2. My favorite version of poison and my favorite version of, you know, just about any status effect except for maybe curse, but actually, no, I'd say it's still my favorite. What is this? Do I, do I smack it? Uh, nope. There's an item here, though. Alluring skulls. Well, that's not foreboding. I would just run past all these guys. They're extremely dangerous. Ow. <laughs> nice try. Ugh. Nope, I'm gonna die. Alright. I probably increased his health dramatically, but summons deal a lot of damage anyways, and a good distraction. Summons and Dark Souls 2. Probably my favorite thing about the game. Just sit back, watch him do all the work. 
Dark Souls 1 was kind of inconsistent with whether or not they were actually good. Like, you, have, you had summons like Iron Tarkus, which you could solo, you know, just about any boss in the game if you really wanted to. But you can only summon him for one boss. Uh oh. Honestly, this is probably one of my favorite bosses in the game. Uh oh. Thank you for taking so long to attack. You know, I have had just about enough of you. Here, take this. Goodbye. You also get a trophy for him. Uh, this is the way. Now for the second longest elevator in the game. It's a nice long elevator ride. Yeah, it takes forever. But here we are. Never going to use that elevator again. There's an item over here. Smash through the roots. Get a green blossom out of it. Which, I never use those. I really should start using them. This is the worst area in the game. Honestly, it's probably not as bad as all that. The first part is probably the part you'll have the most trouble with. What? Hey, she finally restocked, but she only has the bleed stones and the poison stones. But now she has an infinite supply of large Titanite. Which I have 41 regular Titanite shards, so I can essentially max out no any weapon in the game at this point. Her dummy said I didn't need to level up, but it would be nice to have some vitality. And Just so I'm not fat rolling all, all over the place. Like, I'll level up whenever I have the soul sport after a boss, but that's about it. Uh, you know, well, it, since long, each, like, maybe that. Well, I already have all the poison stuff I need, so I'm just gonna buy the Titanite shirts and be done with it. I'm here for the ranks, and not anything else. Actually, speaking of ranks, I actually should have ranked up in the Way of the Blue. Seeing as everyone's here. Oh right, yeah, except for What's-His-Face. You... Long... May you find peace? Right now. Uh, I can't get the final rank until I... Get... Uh, what's his face back? 
you know, now I kind of regret killing him, but because I haven't worn that armor since. Yeah, whatever. Oh, whenever I start farming enemies, I might wear it. But regardless, I'm just gonna pop them back to life. Oh, he's a ghost. That's funny. Oh, hello again. Uh, I hope. I'm not sure if he counts well, towards I... the way of the blue. I'm not sure if the ghosts count for the way of the blue. I find it very funny that that's how that works, though. Honestly, I think that's a great way of doing it. Instead of completely screwing over the player, or... Just making it so that they respawn or something. You can kind of punish them for... Being aggressive towards mandatory... Characters, such as... The Firekeeper. Or, in this case, the Emerald Herald. Okay, I'm gonna try and go through Shrine of Amana. It is one of the more difficult areas. Actually, here, you know what I can do, though? I can put on my most magic-resistant gear. Which I believe would actually be this. Okay, so the Grave Warden armor probably has the best magic resist. You know, I think Vingarl's Helm is just... Nope, there is one with slightly better dark defense. Does have better magic defense as well, so the Mannequin Mask may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Okay, yeah. Great Lake stuff. Okay, the Desert Sorcerer's Skirt, oddly enough. Seems to have better magic defense. Alrighty. Yeah, that's super weird. And on top of that, we can put on a great shield with high magic defense. And I know that the Mastodon great shield has... Actually, no, this one's better than the old knight great shield, but that breaks super easily is the thing, so... It's more about the consistency, so Mastodon it is. I'm not here to kill enemies, I'm here to... Okay, I was here to kill that guy, but that's the only one, trust me. That's a basilisk. It's a chest. Eh, it's a risk I'm willing, I'm willing to take. Okay, it's not a medic. Uh, both the Dusker and Skeptic size. Spice. You want to run through this area? Get your highest magic resistance. Great shield or whatever you can use. Actually, I'm pretty sure wooden shields will have. 
You know, the Blossom Kite Shield has higher magic resist than this. Okay, it seems like the Watch Dragon, the other Watch Dragon Parma is the best. Two handed and run through here. Oh yes, hello. I remember you. Oh, hello. This was a bad idea, wasn't it? You know what, I'm just gonna... juke these guys. Just a little bit, though. Mostly the first part that's really dangerous. Or more importantly, this part. I saw that coming from a mile away. Okay, I think I'm gonna just try and kill him normally. And you know, all the other things that chase me. guys in particular are kind of the worst part of this area. Just these little guys that chase you around. They're just hard to see. No, you're still alive. Alright, whatever. Now you. Thanks for the stuff. Okay. Actually, I'm pretty sure the guys in Shrine of Amana can drop some really good stuff. Alright, there's the curse pot. Look, I know this one isn't a mimic. I destroyed this last time. I played this game. And actually, you know, got to this point. Which was also my first playthrough. I, was, I still don't know what Crimson Water does. But I know it does something. Oh, come on. Alright, buddy. I'm here. Yeah, Great Shields of are kind of busted. I mean, with that stability, it really just kind of makes all their attacks completely null. On top of that, it opens them up for a backstab most of the time. Uh, here, let's pop this. We'll go ahead and heal. 
Yeah, it's actually better to kill them in the first part of this area. And also, I'm pretty sure there's an item in here. some smooth silky stones just ignore the little mushroom things they don't chase after you fast enough for them to really matter honestly they're more there to degrade the durability of the weapons than anything else yep you can still take damage while backstabbing which is also kind of annoying, but at least you can take care of the wizards if you really want them. Yeah, cool. These guys just drop twinkling tight my head. That's pretty sweet, actually. Alright, buddy. You know, I wonder... Yeah. This guy cannot break my guard at all. He can he? Okay, I don't think he can break my guard at all with this straight shield. Okay, but if I try and get cheeky with it, then he can punish me for trying to attack between guards. Wait. I have to remember... ...where the ground is. This is important. Because if you forget where the ground is, more than likely, you're going to fall and die. Wait, what? Oh, you cheeky. Cheeky wizards, aren't you? Oh, I juked him. Look at this skill. Oddly enough, there's actually a lot of attacks that you can dodge just by walking. Okay, now that I have a moment of respite. There's also a fire seed here. I don't need to go that way, so I'm not going to. You have to pay real close attention to the ground. Very, very easily died there. I'm just going to ignore the building. Because I feel like there's a bunch of dudes in there. You know, actually going out of your way to kill all the enemies in this area makes it the path around here a lot easier. You have to be very careful. Just 
just gonna juke him. Okay, I've had enough of your spell casting now. How dare you? Oh no! No, not again. Well, actually, this is the first time that's happened, but wow. Oh. Dang it. Okay, I know I can make it through this area. It might take a bit, though. So, instead of doing that, I'm going to head back to Majula and wrap up this episode. Because I know, like, the past two episodes have been, like, nearly an hour long. So, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing, leave a like, comment down below. I'll see you later.